You're listening to the Impact Implosion on the Angry Marks Podcast Network. Good evening, Bookmakers listening. If you're wondering about why this show was delayed, I had a bit of dehydration, so we're delaying it till tonight. Yep. So let's get into the Impact News, be- and one of these news bits I will be saving for later because it is important. Get but on. right now, we got to talk about the Aces and Eights. Apparently, that's what the heel stable of these masked ninjas, or black scorpions, as Angry Tensai likes to say, that attack Sting. <laughs> the ace of base. I saw the sign! <laughs> Apparently they did see the sign because Twitter, they had a Twitter page before they even announced they were around, who they were. But they've quickly deleted that, and they're probably not going to talk about that. I thought one of them looked like Anarchia, for, one, for whatever reason. <laughs> Oh, God. We also got to talk about Taylor Hendricks, who uh, this Saturday won the OVW women's title. Good for her. Yeah. And uh, finally, we got to talk about Angelina Love leaving TNA. And this time, not because of a visa issue. Yeah. This time, not because of a visa issue. This is kind of because, well, well, they ain't need her anymore. So what do they do with Winter now? I don't freaking know. She's probably gone, too, in the future, and that's going to be a sad day for me. Until she ends up in, back in WWE, because you know they'll hire her back. I don't know. Also announced uh, a few d- weeks ago, uh, we will uh, t- several TNA stars will be in at uh, in Japan. Christopher Daniels will challenge Yoshinobu Kanemaru for the GHC Junior Heavyweight Title, and Samoa Joe and Magnus will challenge Akiyama and Saito for the GHH Heavyweight Tag Titles. June, July 22nd at, at a NOAA show. That sounds pretty good. Well, with that out of the way, let's get to the Impact show. We start off by Bully Ray coming out and tells everyone to shut up because he has a huge announcement. Bully Ray is on Twitter. Yeah. At least it's better than John Cena's announcement that he's going to enter money in the bank. Because at least Bully Ray at least joked about it being a huge announcement. Like, shut up and let me tell you this huge announcement. Other than Cena, like, I got a huge announcement. And then I'm, I'm going to talk about Star Wars for 10 minutes. Yeah. Then Joseph Park came out. And basically, Bully Ray said that goaded him into making the match no no DQ. Basically, everything like the first match. Except Bully Ray pulled a little punch and said that he has a paper that says that he has a restraining order against the fists. Yay, because so those always work. So this can't interfere work. this time. Because those always work. And then he hit Joseph Park from behind before leaving. Yay. We had Hulk Hogan backstage with Austin Aries. And he says by the end of the night, he's gotta get, you got to give him the X Division title back. Yep. Because, you know, probably Hulk Hogan will be at Destination X. So you got to give it to him now. No, he doesn't, he doesn't, Hogan doesn't wash his hands with the X Division. <laughs> <laughs> we had a TV title match. He'd probably send Brooke there. For the first time in three weeks, we have a TV title match. Well, they explained it that with all the Bound for Glory series match, Hogan said to Devon that basically we're going to delay your uh, weekly title matches until late until now. And he fought Crimson. Ugh, boring. And remember when Crimson was undefeated? Yeah, TNA <laughs> doesn't remember that either <laughs> because he <laughs> loses in two minutes. Well, then he loses in like two minutes of Storm last month when Storm returned. Well, that was James Storm. Come on. This is freaking Devon. Well, they're trying <laughs> to make Devon seem important. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. James Storm Devon. A little higher on the level. Yeah, way higher. <laughs> way higher in relevance. Chris Sabin really? came out and was on crutches and said that he may retire because everyone's selling him to. And then and Bobby, Bobby Roode comes out and basically channels Hulk Hogan and saying that all the X Division guys are pathetic, what Hulk Hogan really wants to say. Mm. And basically how he's going to make Austin Aries end up like him. That it's all risk and no reward, brother. His career will be taken away like that. Then he, then Rude is a bastard, really. And kicks the light, kicks Saban's crutch. Good leg. And then Saban still tries to kick him, and he's like, oh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Good thing this isn't WWE. That would be bullying. Oh, yeah. Although what are you going to do, deal, Saban? What are you going to do? Yeah. This was actually a pretty good segment, I will say. I it like really it. set up Rude versus Aries. Which they've been doing very well with, anyways. Oh, God, yes. I'm ordering the pay-per-view. How long has it been since you've ordered the TNA pay-per-view, Seth? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Last TNA pay-per-view I order- ordered was Unbreakable. <laughs> Seven years ago. <laughs> yes. That long ago. So you're doing something right. Yep. X Division qualifier, Dakota Darso versus Flip, Flip Kendrick or Flip Casanova. Yeah, that's who I thought it was. I'm like, wait. Even though I've never seen him before, I'm like, Flip Kendrick? <sighs> you know, Dakota I really... Dakota Darso is a lot like his father. Not really. Yeah, and, and Flip, uh, he, he really looks like one of those guys that really makes the spot monkey jump um jam- he looks like a backyard guy kind of yeah he does and and it really does make the whole stereotype of spot monkey be accurate with him and he botches and the co- unfortunately dakota didn't kick anybody's sticking teeth in but he might get a chance to want to pay with that but we'll talk about that later yeah <laughs> then we had gail then we had a tag match between gail kim mass and rain versus oh dang it i know what i forgot we got to bring this up after devon's t- title match Madison Rain revealed who she has a crush on. Dirty old Earl Hebner. Earl Hebner. <laughs> what is it with Madison Rain and referees? First it was Blake Johnson, know. now it's Earl Hebner. I don't know. But <laughs> he sits grandpa, better than freaking Grandpa, Garrett or grandpa, grandpa. At least it's better than those guys. Earl Hebner at least has experience. Oh, dear God. <laughs> experience as in wrestling experience actually being decent oh and, that's what uh, you mean uh, but anyways we got a, a tag match between gail kim and madison rain versus tnt brooke tesmacher and tara so how long before tara turns heel and she ends up challenging brooke i don't know but that is something they should possibly set up for the future although they're setting up Mickey, for glory setting up mickey james first well they can do tara and tesmacher in the next couple months then yeah, th- this was actually an okay match. Yes, it was. Next up? Next. This was okay. Next. It was. AJ Styles comes out and goes, here we go again. Yes, AJ, here we go. AJ should have ended last week's impact with, here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> As he waved his arms in the air. Yeah, and the credits pull away. <laughs> he goes, Hangs his head. Is throwing out accusations. You know what? Thank God we did. we do not see her Claire Lynch all night long. She's and they, terrible. What? Oh, God, yeah, she is. And thankfully, Impact probably realized that and like, you know, we got a match next. We got a match Sunday between these two. Let's have them not involve her. Although yeah, I have a feeling she will be on the pay-per-view tonight. Let's have them promote that. They got a last man standing match and AJ's like, you know, last year, I, you wanted to face me. Well, this time, I want to face you. Revisionist history. Well, it was Daniels who wanted to face him. That's true. So this time, it's AJ who wants to beat the living crap out of him. Then we Hopefully, got- this will finally end the feud, but I doubt no, it. Of course not. <laughs> We're going to carry this on because we have nothing, to, nothing for Daniels to do anymore. Yeah, nothing for Daniels and AJ to do anymore, sadly. <laughs> The two guys that used to be the faces of our company. Yeah. Now we have nothing for them. Hulk Hogan is shown backstage talking about Destination X main event, and a man walks in and said they are coming for Hulk. And they, I, as I you. said before, Hulk Hogan, we coming for you. 
We come for you, N-word. <laughs> As I said before, this guy looked like Anarchia. Yeah. And <laughs> places an envelope, and it's a piece of paper with some playing cards, aces and eights attached to it. See, it's see, it's see yeah. that. And Hogan has no idea what's about it. At tells a crew member to go find the messenger. He never does. Friend of mine sent me a message on Facebook after Impact saying, "Do you know what this whole thing is about?" I'm like, "No, I'm not sure. I don't really care." Yeah. Then we had another X Division title match with ours only, who is Johnny Yuma and Ken <laughs> King. Aha. Uh-huh. Team champion. Former now. <laughs> yeah, we'll get to that later. Uh, Kenny King beats Lars Only. Lars Only really did not look good. He looks like Chris Silvio, of all he's people. not ready. I don't think he's ready, and... I've never even seen this guy before now. Yeah, he did not look good in that match. Kenny King looks freaking awesome. Kenny King looked like he was ready. Kenny King is probably... If someone that's not already signed to TNA is gonna win, it's gonna be him. Yeah, and he did very well. Then we had the Bound for Glory series match where they set this up all night long, James Storm and Jeff Hardy. This was a good match. It was, and they kind of hyped it. Kind of. They did the video packages throughout the second half of the show. And, uh, oh, by Hardy, the way, we have Angle and Anderson next week. Jeff Hardy, week. but you know what? J- James Storm can't win every match. That's fine. He's got like 36 points as it is. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like... Okay. Let him he, lose some. Hulk Hogan comes out and it's time for Bobby Roode to give up the belt. You mean Although, Aries? What belt Aries, is Roode giving up? Bobby Roode comes out and he threatens Hogan not to cross him. And Again. Basically, he's laying back, letting these guys do their stick and not having the last word. Although, with Roode and Aries, Hogan's just like, dude, just let him go. <laughs> I'm going to let these guys talk. Basically, and they are all... And Hogan is like the third wheel in this now. Hogan should be the ref, but he's not going to be there, so it doesn't uh, matter. And he... And Ares beats up Rude, and <laughs> the end of the night has with him with both belts. Yes. Setting up for Destination X. And the news item we got to talk about is Kenny King... Yeah. Because apparently, our wage R-O-H wasn't too happy with this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we refuse to work with him anymore because yeah. he decided he wanted to go somewhere and make more money. Yeah. Even though we're, we had to pay for pay for performance, and we've seen how when they when they put guys on pay for performance, how much they really use them. Right. But Colt Cabana. Roderick Strong. Yeah. So, yeah, we've seen how they do that crap. So, Kenny King was, and they were stupid enough to give him the tag titles. I have no sense. Not thinking he would go elsewhere if the chance arose. Oh, yeah. And, you, gotta, oh, you kind of didn't think about that, didn't you? Did you, uh, Sinclair? Oh, and for which I'm sure, if, if you saw there was an interview coming up between uh, Annex and uh, Kenny King was pretty ticked off at Sinclair, aired his frustrations at them. Before this happened, what did he, what, what did he say? Work. That Sinclair basically promised us all this stuff that we were going to be TV stars, big yeah, stars, and all that, and they haven't delivered one word of that. This is true. And oh, work, actually, I wouldn't know. And one AM showings. Yes, that nobody can see unless you DVR it and watch it later. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Good work, was- guys. So, so what happens whenever ROH gets gets on TV, unfortunately? They can't get a network that'll show them during the day. Yeah, and ROH really has no one else to blame. I am sorry, ROH bots. It's true. It is. You have nobody to blame on this issue. I know you think that verbal con- verbal agreements are some, in some states now, are pretty binding, but you, um... You didn't. You didn't. You screwed the pooch. Screwed the pooch. Yeah, and now you. And I feel sorry for Rhett Titus. I you know. I do too because there's nothing really that he can do now, unless ROH is smart and makes him the new face of their program, which they won't. No, it would be smart to have him go against uh, Kevin Steen, 
But I've given up on ROH. I'm sorry on them. I gave up on them after I that. I want to say something about the Steam thing because I just watched their uh, the show this week. I haven't finished the recap, but I watched the show and I don't like that they're making Steam defend against anybody, like just anybody that they can bring in. It's a heel. Why? That doesn't make sense, Cornette. No. Have build people up against him. He's going to be facing Mike Mondo for the title in two weeks. Yeah, he's got to. He's going to be. He, he, he's freaking holding the belt hostage. Why is he defending? If you want to make it interesting, have it be eventually have him defend against either Karina or Jimmy. Yeah, have him defend against somebody like that. But you know, ROH and Sinclair, I, I think ROH is dead. Yeah, ROH. Whenever they get on TV, the product gets dramatically worse. Uh, yeah. Because ROH thrives on, you know, the people that'll buy the DVDs. But the DVDs and the TVs don't always correlate. And they're doing that still, even though they got a TV show. They don't get that yet. Especially when you see the most recent DVD out is the show that had, uh, what was it, Charlie Haas and Jay Briscoe, which they just aired their last match on TV a few weeks ago. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, I mean... I, I I had a, I gave our way a chance, and coming into Border Wars, they had me hooked. Yeah, and the Steam cool. Davy stuff was good. What? So yeah, the Steam the, Davy stuff was good. Where, and I wanted to see Steam get the belt. And he got the belt, and now they don't know what to do with him. I freaking couldn't see it. I what I also wanted to see was the eight, All Night Express win the tag titles. And they well, did they, that. There's no point. All right. Because you dick that up, too. And the only thing left that really I care about are the Briscoes. Yes, and they're in a never-running story with Haas and Benjamin. No, and, and, and yeah, that, yeah that, that painfully out that story. But I like the Briscoes promos. Ugh, not me. I do. I think it's funny stuff. As long as they don't zoom in on Mark Briscoe's tooth. <laughs> but, but yeah, I have no reason now to watch ROH. It's unfortunate because they were a good product before they were on TV. But yeah. whenever they get on TV, because of, you know, the people that they're working with, they fail miserably. Yeah, they do. So, but and, and, they get, and they get bad business advice. Yes, from people who don't know anything about wrestling. They, but they, t- feel, they feel like Jim Hurd, or WCW. Oh, where God. They have the money, but they don't know how to sell wrestling. Right. But... Let's get to the... There is a pay-per-view tonight. Yes, there is. Thankfully, we're going to... And TNA has actually done a very good job setting this whole thing up. Or yes, what? they have. Probably the best job they've done in ages setting up a pay-per-view, actually. Yeah. yeah, and everyone's like, you know, TNA, this is how you do a go-home show. Right. And that's what we're going to call... Oh, yeah, we're going to call this a preview of the Destination X. Pretty simple. Yes. So, let's get to the card. Uh, we have a fatal four-way to determine the final spot. Which uh, which is kind of random, but are they going to do a pre-show for this? Because wouldn't the tournament be what's on the pay-per-view? Winner earns the ultimate X spot, the final one. There will be eight people at the pay-per-view, and winners will compete at the ultimate X match. I want Jigsaw to win this. We ha- Or Rubik's. <laughs> Versus yeah. Dakota Darso versus Mason Andrews versus Lars only. I guess if I was to pick one of the two, one of the two, one of the four would be Jigsaw. If it's not Jigsaw, then it's Scorpio Sky. Yeah, Mason. Dakota Darso is not good, and Lars only is. Yeah. Oh God, yeah, both of them are bad. <laughs> we have a Bound for Glory series match. Samoa Joe versus Kurt Angle. And there's a lot of history here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna pick Kurt Angle. Yeah, it seems like they're build, They're trying to rebuild Angle as a face right now, so I'm going to say Angle. I think I think Angle stands to gain at least 14 points in the next few days. So. Okay, we have the X Division tournament to crown the new X Division champion, and the Ultimate X match will finish that. And uh, here's what I think here. Um, we have four guys that, well, Kenny King, I guess, is signed to a, uh, what, what did you say he was signed to? Like a paper appearance? Well, the, well that was ROH. Oh, Okay, um, well, let's go process of elimination. I don't think Kid Cash is winning because he's not around enough. I don't Zima, think Doug Williams is winning. He's more of an agent now. Yeah, Zima Ion, I don't... I could, but I don't think could. so. Yeah, could. if uh, Only if 
the guy who broke his neck is uh I forget his name. Sorensen. Sorensen is coming back soon. I can see them setting that up. Something when did the whole neck injury happen? Uh I don't know. In but, the last year, I think. Yeah. Zima Ion. Uh, no, I re Sanjay Dutt, I could see winning this, and he's actually... Dutt, I could see pick. Dutt winning, yeah. Yeah, Kenny King is see. the other pick. Yeah, Dutt and King are the most likely people to win, i said. We had Rashad Cameron. No. And Flip Casanova, no. No. And I don't think the X Division 4 way is going to win it. So it'll be Dutt, i say it'll be Dutt, King, and then probably uh, Kid Cash, and maybe... Zima. Oh, no. Yeah, Zima Ion. Yeah, probably. Unless they do Dutton King in the opening round, which would be stupid, but you know. Yeah, it would be, but you never know. They'll get a very athletic match early on in the show. We yeah. have a last man standing match. AJ which Styles. Will not in the feud, but yet it's a last man standing match. Oh. You know, AJ's going to win this match, but I think Daniels should. <laughs> Give Daniels a freaking break. I wish they would have actually shown. I wish. They would have sh- actually shown what evidence Daniels has that AJ did impregnate this this Claire Lynch girl. You know what? Uh, I'm I'm glad at this point. That, do that later. Do that crap later. Maybe they'll do that if he wins tonight. Ah, uh, maybe. <laughs> but then the match of the night: Rude versus Aries. And this is going to be a hard one because. I know Rude versus Storm at Bound for Glory is written pretty much in stone. Well, then why is it hard? You, give Ari- you strike when the iron ha- is hot uh, right now and give Aries the belt for a couple months while the I, I Bound know, for Glory series is going on. But do you, I know, but you're in TNA's position. You really didn't expect Aries to do this. Aries well, is hot. So, and, and it really, in that case, I do think Aries needs to win the belt. You give Aries the belt now, have him hold the title while the series is going on, and then Rude gets it back. Have a three man have like a have Aries win the belt tonight and give the big moment to the X Division. Have Rude win it back at Hardcore Justice in some type of match. And then they have another rematch at No Surrender. Yeah, that could work. And fin and that way they can let the Brown for Glory series finish out with Storm winning. And then Storm be- and Rude can still happen. But I, I I agree. Aries needs to win this match. Um, it really would be a huge disappointment if he doesn't. Although someone said a draw, no, not in your main event. I think Aries could be a draw in the main event. No, I meant a draw as in a tie. No. No. Yeah, that's not, not what people event. are paying thirty five dollars for. I'm yeah, sorry. Nobody wants. To, they want to see a winner. TNA did that with Root and AJ several months ago, and it yeah, sucked. Yeah, I know, and, and and everyone hated it. So, no, yeah. Get the actual match. Give us an actual winner. I do think Aries deserves the belt. He is that over. Yep. So, yeah. Yep. <laughs> All right. You have anything to sell? <laughs> this Thursday night, Pro Wrestling Maine at Winslow High School featuring Carlito versus Mike Bennett featuring... Oh, something threw me off. Um, Eddie Edwards versus Cameron Matthews versus Mark Moment versus Danny DeMonte in a four-way ladder match. Mr. USA Tony Atlas takes on Doink the Clown and much more. This f- yes. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, this this Friday night, IWE back in Cornville for fan for Fan Fest weekend. As they just announced it, and returning t- for that for that weekend will be Gino Martino, as well as former IWE champion Jay Gillette, who will take on Shane Marvel. Um, the Bomb Squad take on Team Heart and Soul, and the Regime take on the Tenacious Two. The next night in Brewer, it'll be the Regime taking on Team Heart and Soul, Jay Gillette taking on Ricky Williams, Mister Canada, and. A tables match between Sonny Roselli and Jive and Jimmy, and much more. And then August 12th, it is the ro- tribute to Robbie Ellis, the Super Juniors Tournament, featuring ROH's Eddie Edwards, former ECW star Chris Hamrick, Matt Taven, Julian Starr, Cameron Matthews, and a whole host of others. Well, I have nothing. <laughs> Alrighty. So, we will see you next week? Probably. I don't Thurs- know or Thursday, hopefully. 
I don't know if I'll be on next Thursday. It'll depend on what time I get back from the show, but if I'm back early enough, I will be on. Okay. All right. Peace out. Peace.